Good morning. The gospel reading, every day of the church year, there is a different gospel reading. And, our, and the readings follow what's called a lectionary. So there are, and the lectionary is based on when Pascha falls. So we had Pascha, then we have Pentecost. Last week was All Saints. And now, from now until the end of August, we're going to be reading from the Gospel of Matthew. So tomorrow is, last Sunday, All Saints is the first Sunday of Matthew. Tomorrow is the second Sunday, third Sunday, etc. So today is the second Saturday that we are reading Matthew. And so we're going to, depending again when Pentecost falls, if it's earlier or later in the year, we'll get 14 or 15 Sundays in before the end of August, 14 or 15 weeks. And so periodically, one of the days, if a, if a big holiday, as an example, falls on a Sunday, then the Sunday reading is skipped and we read for that holiday. So today, we're reading the Gospel of the second Saturday of Matthew, and the Gospels for this entire week have been uh, excerpts from the Sermon on the Mount. The Sermon on the Mount was the greatest of the sermons that Jesus gave because it was the longest. It takes about three chapters in the Gospel, in the gospel of Matthew. It includes things like the Beatitudes, it includes the Lord's Prayer, and it includes some sound advice that we receive today. In fact, if you took the Sermon on the Mount and you took all the advice that was given there, you would have everything you need in order to get through the Christian life. That's why you don't have to read the entire, you don't have to commit the whole gospel to memory. Just even small snippets of the gospel at a time give you invaluable tools for living a Christian life. <clears throat> so in the gospel today, we heard, judge not and you will not be judged. Be, because by the manner in which you judge somebody else, that's the manner that God is going to judge you. And so there are many stories that come to us from the Holy Fathers of the Church, people that lived in monasteries and things like that. And one of the stories, one of my favorite stories from the Fathers, from the, from the monastics, was about a monk who was cooking in a monastery, and he was a very bad cook and none of the monks enjoyed eating his food. And they used to talk about him and gossip about him and tell among themselves how bad the food was. And so when eventually the monk died, and so at his funeral, the, the abbot of the monastery got up and, and extolled this monk and what a great man that he was, that he was just so favored, must be so favored by God now in his repose. And all the monks turned to the abbot and they said, why are, you, why are you extolling this guy? He was a terrible cook. We're glad that he's dead, so we don't have to eat his food anymore. How can you say that he is the biggest saint among us? And the abbot said, because in the gospel it says, judge not and you will not be judged. And this man never opened his mouth to say anything about anybody. Sure, he wasn't the greatest of cooks, but God didn't put us here to cook food. He put us here to glorify him. And this man knew that you all disliked him and never said anything. And so the lesson is, we will be judged on how we judge others. We have lots of talk in the country today about how we're judging our fellow man, whether we judge him or her appropriately or inappropriately, whether it's according to politics, whether it's according to nationality, whatever it is. And if you go to the gospel and say, don't judge anybody, don't open your mouth and say bad about anybody. If, if you could somehow get through your life like that, you would be a saint. I know I open my mouth and I say bad things throughout my life, and I pray that God's not going to judge me for that. When we look at to somebody else, the Lord says, don't look at the speck in their eye before you take the log out of your own eye. Or as one of my, one of my favorite priests used to say, when you point the finger to somebody, there's three fingers pointing back at you. Um, and finally, the Lord tells us, ask and you will ask and you receive, seek and find, knock and the door is going to be open to you. And he's not talking about asking for gifts at Christmas time. He's not talking about seeking riches. He's talking about salvation. Ask for salvation in your life and you will receive it. You will receive bits of it throughout your life and you will receive a big reward at the end of your life. 
seek salvation and you will find it knock at the door of Christ and he's going to open it for you. He's not going to slam the door on us. So these are the little snippets of, of advice that come from this scripture taken from the Sermon of the Mount that we're reading today on this second Saturday of Matthew.